Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Legend of Grimrock, and when last we left off, we have found dinosaurs in dungeons. Nasty dinosaurs in dungeons that we most certainly need to defeat if we're going to get anywhere in here. And so, once we've fully rested, we're going to explore further, and indeed, there is a dinosaur in a dungeon, and lightning that came out of that sword, which is very, very curious. It is indeed an exceptionally powerful sword. We need to have a closer look at that weapon at some point. It appears to crackle with arcane might that even I can detect. It is a powerful, legendary blade, I wager. And there is a dinosaur to interrupt that conversation. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. I have no idea why they put uh, crabs in dungeons, and I have less idea as to why they put lizards in here either. Giant dinosaur-like lizards. Also, there is uh, something else there. There is a key, and keys are always useful to look at, and always useful to have just in case they unlock anything important, which I imagine that key probably will- Ooh, That's opened something over here, I think. Yep, it's getting louder as we head this way, and that was not there before. Pit Fighter Gauntlets, eh? They are pretty amazing for Malgrav! That is a lot of strength, and a lot of attack power. And we are now being attacked by a dinosaur. While we're looking at items, dinosaurs sneakily decided to ambush, which is really not good. Fortunately, we're quite good at dealing with dinosaurs at this point. So, uh, what else was there? Some lightning bombs and some fire bombs, which we really aren't that worried about at all. In fact, we could just uh, dump all of- we can't dump all of them off, but we could dump some of them off. Let's see. How about, um, we could just drop that. We really don't need that anymore. And we could give over, let's see. We could give that away, and we could give that away there, and these, there we go. Now we have uh, the inventory all sorted out properly. And we might as well uh, eat some of these dinosaur uh, bits of meat here, because there's no reason not to. There we go. That there, and that there. Excellent. Let's keep exploring, shall we? And see what we can find. The answer is probably some torches that we most certainly, uh, there we go. We need to carry torches around because I think we need them for a puzzle. A quite devious puzzle if memory serves, but one that yields an absolutely fantastic. Hello! Hello, it's a dinosaur again. We really don't like seeing these dinosaurs, but we'll fight them if we have to. And hopefully I haven't put us in a corner that we can't escape from. I've put us in a corner that we can't escape from, so it's a good thing that enemy died relatively quickly. Also, resting here is a really bad idea when there might be more dinosaurs about. Like there, because that dinosaur would have just killed Malgrav, and that would have been dreadful, because we have no way to bring Malgrav back to life down here. We'll just uh, constantly strafe around until this enemy dies, which I hope they'll die pretty soon. Eventually they will anyway. I hope anyway. There we go. And dead. And there are all our crossbow bolts back. We pretty much need to explore everywhere here before we decide to move on. There is a switch that probably opens up something important, and another torch there. How many torches? We have three at the moment. That's probably fine. Nothing here, but I bet there's something worth exploring if we uh, continue up this way. Let's find out, shall we? This is a very dangerous location. Indeed it is, full of massive amounts of dinosaurs. What do these dinosaurs eat that they can continue surviving? Perhaps they too feast on the snails. Something tells me that uh, snails are not high on the dietary requirements of dinosaurs. When you're desperate, I suppose you'll eat anything. Maybe. Maybe. What is in here? There is uh, a way this way. Anything else? It doesn't appear so. There are a lot of people that tried to make it this far, though, and failed miserably. As is evident- oh, hello! 
as is evident by the uh, sheer amount of uh, skeletons that are nearby. We need to be very careful, though, because we don't want this dinosaur to try and kill us. Well, it's certainly going to try anyway, but uh, if it will succeed is another matter. And the answer there is a resounding no. I was about to ask where the uh, crossbow bolt was, but it's over there. All right, nothing over there. There is a door that, uh, ooh, there's a way here we could go. Anything down here? Anything at all? There's something. There are some lightning bombs, and we will gladly take lightning bombs here. Also, why not just uh, put that in there, and while we're at it, put that in there, and that in there, and, uh, who's carrying those right now? That is a good question. You're carrying them. Well, now you're carrying them, and they're going there. There we go. Anything else that we need to do? Well, I think we probably need to, uh, go this way and, uh, explore down here now. Anything here? Well, there's nothing there. And there's nothing there, either. Hmm. What about over here? Well, there's only one way we can go, and that is this way. Hmm. It would seem that they revered this gear beneath the mountain. They being the people that, uh, dedicated themselves to fire, most likely. Who is that, then? I have no idea. It is all guesswork. The Outer Sanctum. We have a key that will unlock things here. And we're going to rest, because if there's anywhere that seems very, very dangerous, it is a place called the Outer Sanctum. Ooh. Hello. You need to be careful. They live here. They will want to stop you. They fear you might undo their vision. Vision, eh? I don't know what vision this is, but I don't like the sound of it already. It's probably full of doom and death. Most likely for us. Alright. A little bit more resting. We need to get Malgrav up to pretty much full health. And we're going to save. Because this place seems, uh, sinister with a capital sinister. Alright. In we go! In we go, with a spell prepared. And it's a good thing that we did, because, oh dear, that is a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies indeed that we need to defeat right now, as quickly as we can. Alright, William has leveled up, which is always good, and we need to make sure that uh, nobody dies here. And I don't think anyone is going to die, which is very, very handy. Because we have moved in such a way that all of the foes have been defeated quite capably. Alright, not many more levels to go for William here. One more, and then he'll have the Master Archer ability. The Master Archer ability indeed. Anything around here? We appear to be trapped. That is not encouraging. Perhaps there's a switch somewhere that will open the way out. Like this. Well spotted. But we must explore around here either way. Let's see here. Hands that slaughter, eyes that deceive. Hmm. Well, that's not nice. Nothing there at all? Alright. What about down here? Son of Hatred. Nothing there. And what about up here? It's worth just looking. Three ancient beings of deep. There's a puzzle here. And there's a scroll there. It wasn't there before. Three, two, one, three. Well, that's a pretty simple puzzle, if you ask me. Uh, we're going to have to uh, go through these in a particular order. You know the, uh, it says there, three, two, one, three? What we need to do is we need to look at how many uh, lines there are in each of these statements. For instance, this one has three. So we're going to go in there first. Then I think this one had one. Yep, the other one had two. So we're going to go into that one next. There we go. This one had two. And then this one had one, if memory serves. Yep. And then this one over here had three. Hopefully this will lead us to somewhere 
pretty useful. Let's find out. That is somewhere quite different that we were not previously. Hmm. We most certainly are going to, uh... uh oh That's not good. That is even worse. And I think we actually want to be in here. This is, uh, where we're going to solve a pretty, uh, particular puzzle. And this puzzle is going to, uh, net us a really, really good item. And it's why we've been holding on to torches all of this time. Alright, there's one there. There's one here. And there's something in there that is most certainly worth our time. Let's have a look. Stand where the shadows of the torches cross, and toss a rock with all your might to the east and to the north. It is a very obvious um, puzzle there that we need to uh, solve. The third torch here will... Uh, where is the shadow? I think the shadow is... Uh, where is the shadow? Let's have a look. We need to stand where the shadow is. What does it say? I need to go pick that scroll up again and have another read. Stand where the shadows of the torches cross. Where they cross? Uh, there, I think. Is it here? Or is it here? And we need to throw one to the east and to the north. Where is that compass? Where is that compass? Who is holding on to the compass right now? Interesting question. Ah, you are. That is uh, north, and that is east. So we now need to throw some rocks. East? And north? Did that do anything? No, that did not do anything. I think we might have thrown them in the wrong order. Hmm. Or maybe that is not exactly where the shadows cross. Maybe the shadows cross over here. Let's try over here, shall we? To the east first. Well, the east is actually this way. That probably didn't help. East and north. That did absolutely nothing. So clearly I'm standing in the wrong location. The east and the north. Is it here we need to be? Hmm. Is it here? Also, where are we on the map? We are in level 10 right now. Need to look more closely at these shadows. They cross... Let's have a look. They cross about here. So maybe I need to stand here. Let's try it, shall we? That is uh, east. And that is north. Nope, that uh, did not help. Toss a rock with all your might to the east and the north. It's a question of where these shadows technically cross is the, uh, the issue. Where do they all cross? I think they cross over there, but you can never be too sure. Or maybe it is just here and I've got it all horribly wrong. For the east is there. Or maybe I need to throw it rather than, uh, that might be the trick throw, and that's north. And that did not open it. So eventually I'm going to figure out the solution to this. I just need to find exactly where these shadows technically cross. Is it here? East and north? Nope, that's not it either. I will figure out where these need to be thrown, and I shall be right back. Eventually, I will figure out the location. I'll see you there. And now, a mental note for the future, Kiko. When you're doing a puzzle that involves compass points, check the map if you have one, because that way is east and that way is north, unlike that way and that way where you were throwing rocks, which was very silly. We're going to throw a rock here, and we're going to throw a rock here, from this point here, and you could hear that the uh, door in question that we wanted to open has opened. And what is in here that was worth all that effort? Well, if you could see through the uh, portcullis, it is indeed a piece of armour. A very impressive piece of armour. The Curace of Valor. A plate cuirass forged of strips of shiny golden metal. It was thought to be forever lost on the battlefields of Malantale. 
Indeed it was, and yet, also, these boots fashioned of almost impenetrable metal are lighter to wear than the fine steel sabatons of the Royal Regiments. And the helmet that I didn't check the description of, even though this helmet looks ceremonial, it is forged to last even the mightiest of blows. For indeed, we now have a lot of that armour, and now it is time to try and solve this puzzle here. By putting something down here first, because uh, as we saw when we stepped off this plate, that pit opened and we fell to our doom. Also, I think there might be a pressure plate there, you can vaguely see it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, weigh it down with this grim cap, like that, and then step here. We need to be very, very careful, I do not want to step in there again. That doesn't appear to have opened anything though. There might be one over there. That's going to involve a lot of careful timing. Careful timing that will cost us dearly if we fail. We're going to have to step on that just as it's about to open, and then move further forward into there when the teleporter is not active. We don't know where the teleporter will lead us. Let's just presume for now that it's nowhere good whatsoever, and carry on from there. Alright, carefully does it, we're on here, and there we go! Not bad at all. I imagine this would teleport us quite uh, horribly, yep, down into the pit. So we most certainly did not want to do that. I wonder how many times I could have failed there. Probably a lot. And here is an ornate key for our trouble. That's all we got, an ornate key. Ah oh, well, let's just move on, I suppose. Back to here, and back further along. However, that is not the way out whatsoever. Where is the way out? It is this way, of course the last way, but I looked. Alright, onward we go! Into this area, which is actually really, really large, as you can see. There are a lot of things here, and a lot of areas where we need to solve puzzles. You can imagine trying to go around this temple on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, we need to solve that puzzle to get here, and that puzzle to get there, and the pillared hallway. Oh dear, the pillared hallway. This is going to be tricky. Hmm. I'm not sure that is the solution to this. It may not be anyway. But if memory serves, the problem with this area is that you cannot navigate it all the way without uh, being catapulted far, far back. If we go a little bit further forward, yep, we are now right back at the beginning. And the same will happen if we uh, decide to go this way. As you can see, we have been put straight back to the start. Hmm, we have this one. Left, right, left. Maybe this is the uh, the solution, like two left, one's right, so we go, let's have a look. One, two left, one right, and one left, one right, um, three right, and two left. Nope, that clearly is not the solution, or I have completely misread what that solution means. We probably need to have Malgrave eat something here, because uh, hunger is indeed going to be an issue. We have plenty of food though, so in the long run, we have all the time in the world to solve this puzzle. Also, that uh, was not a good piece of food to eat at all. It appears to have uh, diseased Malgrave, which is really not good. Hmm, didn't remember that that could happen with food sometimes. Alright. I don't remember the solution to this one at all. Maybe this is where I got stuck, and for some reason decided not to check for a solution. Hmm. This is a tricky one. I wonder how we're going to solve it. Trial and error, perhaps? Careful observation, as you would say, eyes? Hmm. There is something about the floor. What do you mean? It is not in the walls that we will find our solution, but in the floor. I think what Eyes is trying to say is that we need to carve a very specific path. Very specific. Very, very specific if that's the case, because, uh, I can't see it. There's nothing about the floor that's odd at all. Perhaps eventually we shall figure it out. 
careful observation. Yes, careful observation and deduction. And when we come back, folks, I will see if I can figure out this puzzle. We managed to figure out this puzzle here, and we are getting very, very close to uh, getting to this area, the uh, this third or rather quarter of the map. There's probably a bit more of a third there if we uh, look at all of that, but there might not be stuff here. Then again, there's probably lots of stuff here because uh, this level was pretty full. And this level is probably even more full. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Careful deduction, eh? Careful deduction.